In the year 2075, the global population underwent another serious lockdown and social distancing issue, suffering from a newfound virus COVID-75. But families are looking more prepared than ever. Having suffered from a series of plagues and pandemics for centuries, and the most recent one yet 55 years ago, we take a look at a modern-day family, whose social lives are continued on Zoom as it always has been. What's up, my homies? Little Graham Graham speaking here. Shut up, will you? Take your medicine. No, you. What did you just say to me, you crazy woman? I said no, you. So, I'm sorry. moms, mothers, how are you? Uh, so glad you could make it to our weekly catch up. Oh, I'm great, dear. My arms and legs have been a little weak recently. We're probably doing better than that, our neighbor's son, Bruce. Poor Buckers been coughing himself to heaven. It's fine. They can just make another one. Jack and Ball have all the time in their hands now. Okay. Anyways, my dear grandchild, I haven't seen you since 2074, since ever since COVID-75 took over. How was school? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been to school for a year now. Like, how can you know? Oh, look. The food is here. Just on time. Always so convenient. Ah, cheers. Hold on, I'm missing something. I have to go to get some milk. It is my right to leave the house whatever I want anyways. I didn't know we were in America. Um, well, well then, um, sweetheart, how is that little boy Daryl doing in school? So dreamy. We'll call him the COVID boy because he takes everyone's breath away. All right, that is interesting. So, food koala, huh? I remember when it was called food panda. They always do such a great job in naming it after animals who are about to go extinct. Koalas, those poor creatures. They didn't stand a chance during the second fire of December 2020. Good metaphor for why my wonton noodles are always burned. <laughs> Oh my, this is the last toilet paper we have in the storage. You kids want to hear about the great toilet paper shortage of 2020? I've heard it a million times, Grandma. The family continues on with their normal routine, having a family meal during their catch-up. They continue with the normal conversation, carrying on with their normal lives. So, sweetheart, are you still playing sports? I saw pictures of you playing rugby the other day. Ah, uh, yeah. We don't get that anymore. There's only no touch rugby and with two meters distance intervals. Ah, uh, right. Good old school days. You kids have no idea what online classes used to be truly like. It was the start of a remarkable time of online learning. Got my PDF diploma downloaded and saved in a one terabyte storage somewhere. Oh no, here we go again. You want to see my diploma? <laughs> Here you go. Ugh, engineering. Such an old fashioned thing. Nah, uh You kids are able to travel safely on a socially distanced aircraft because of me. Actually, as part of our history lesson, we need to interview family members about their experiences with the original COVID in 2020. I don't know. It sounds a bit boring. I mean, how much harder could your lives have been in 2020? Ah, good old 2020. I don't even want to talk about it. I mean, we were all tricked on New Year's Day, thinking it would be a good decade in the world. But no, it all started on the second day of the new decade. That was the Australian bushfires, if I remember correctly. Such a terrible thing that to have happened. Poor animals. Such a shame. 
well, where are all these pictures coming from? Well, you kids have it easy nowadays. When I was your age, my mates and I was lucky to not have gone to World War III. Well, my mate Dave was actually so excited to fight. He flew to Iran in preparation. He never came back due to the airport bans. Oh, and not to mention what happened in Britain with Brexit. Crazy, I swear. And as crazy as the orange man in the White House injecting Lysol into bloodstreams. Why don't you film yourself doing it? So, are we done yet? Oh, sweetie, that's only the first few months. Oh, and I completely forgot about COVID-19. I mean, lockdown was awful. Plus the online classes. And of course, we have those. Does this even end? Can you guys actually help me in my work, please? Oh, right. Fire away. What's your question? Um, it's about something that happened in May with bugs or something. The murder, murder hornets. hornets. Yes, the murder hornets. Now, um, well, that chapter is relatively short. In May week three, chapter sparks an entirely new issue that year. And that, kids, is why we no longer have the Great Wall of Mexico. And you want to know what happens after? I really don't want to know, Grandma. We just asked about the hornets. How dare you? Don't speak to your grandmothers like that. Oh, okay, okay, Zoom. I'm sorry, sheesh. Oh, no, that's all right, dear. Besides, that was even half of it. Grandma, can you help me in this section of the assignment? It says, write a paragraph about America's president in 2020. Well, in 2020, America's president was that spray tan person. I think he was called Tronald Dump or something. Oh, I remember that. He spends a lot of this time of his time on this thing called Twitter. It was a really big social media platform back in the day. He used it to channel his inner frustrations while he ignored the real problems in America, stuff like COVID. See, so this president was pretty bad, huh? <laughs> pretty bad, insanely bad. Yes, I mean America knew they messed up when they elected him for president. There were so many great memes about him. It was hilarious. They were all over the internet. There was this really funny one that I found. I think it was on Instagram, maybe? Timer has started and we have five minutes remaining. I repeat, five minutes remaining. I'm sorry, you didn't get Zoom Premium. I was busy saving our family from a dangerous shortage of resources. By that, do you mean hogging toilet paper from Macro? It was a two-for-one special. And besides, I didn't see you guys move a muscle to help me out. They don't have a paragraph. Okay, shh. Quit your bubbering. We are in the middle of a crisis here. You can argue about your lack of responsibility later. The teacher's going to give me a Zoom detention. Okay, everyone, thanks for coming to the family reunion Zoom. I'm happy that you're all not dead. <clears throat> yeah, we can all use technology. Don't forget to come back on the Zoom at the same time next week after your mother gets her priorities straight. Okay, we love you all. See you later. Why are we using Skype? <laughs>